I know I'm kind of old and everything, but I can remember when this was state of the art. Not just VHS, but forehead VHS with hi-fi. Nowadays, who wants that? It's all about digital video, high def, and increasingly, IPTV. Or in other words, getting your TV content from the internet. What's going on everybody? I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com and I'm right here, oh, in the living room with my, uh, you know, home theater setup. Why? Because I'm checking out this program that's not really that new, but it's new to me. It's called Boxy. Boxy is a free application. It works on Macs, it works on Windows, it works on Linux. And it's actually kind of an offshoot of the XBMC project, the Xbox Media... Xbox Media Center project, which was uh, some software that lets you take a modded Xbox and turn it into a full-on media center on the cheap. And so what the folks at Boxy have done is they've basically written, I, I don't, I'm not, I don't want to get into terminology here, but it's something kind of like an offshoot of Xbox, XBMC or, you know, kind of a, a cool skin with it to go over the top of the core uh, XBMC functionality and add some social media stuff, some friend feed kind of stuff, that kind of thing. And uh, they've given it a great UI that's meant to run on your uh, TV set. So this is a 32-inch TV. You know, you're all probably watching this being like, what? I've got 60, 70, 80, I've got a 137-inch TV. Well, you know, it should run on all those as well. Uh, this is the, the Mac version. You can see I've got my MacBook hooked up here uh, via DVI cable to the TV set, and then I've also got a little uh, just audio jack, 3.5 millimeter cable running out of the uh, headphone port into my amplifier, you know, my stereo system. Um, and then also, I've got the new Boxy app for the Apple iPhone, which you don't need, but uh, since it's free and since I have an iPhone, I loaded it up, and so we're gonna take a look, see what Boxy can do. Now, I'm gonna tell you that the whole impetus for this video Let's get me in front of the camera for a second there. All right, so the whole impetus for me shooting this video and uh, everything that's going on, I'm backlit here so you might not be able to see me so well, is that um, basically we've got, you know, in my house, we've got two TV sets. We've got this one down here in the living room. We've got one upstairs in the bedroom. This one down here is hooked up to a, a TiVo HD. And what, uh, the reason that we finally gave in and got a TiVo, uh, in addition to the fact that it's miles, years better than the lousy Comcast DVR that we rent, or we rented before this, is that now TiVo can get YouTube content and it can get Netflix content, as well as some other content as well. But those are the things for us, because we have Netflix, the streaming Netflix, you know, is great to watch video on demand. And then also the YouTube content is fun. Uh, I personally love watching old 80s music videos, but you know, that's because I just entered a new demographic. I'm not gonna tell you which demographic it is, but uh, I'll be in it for a while, trust me. Anyway, so I love doing that stuff. We don't have anything like that upstairs. And uh, instead of shelling out for another TiVo box or something like that, I wanted to see, you know, is there uh, one of these free, cool apps that I keep hearing people talking about, media centers that can turn your computer into, uh, you know, into kind of a, a media center application to manage your music, you know, get online video, all that kind of stuff, because there's so much cool online video these days. Um, also, I would love to have a machine that could double as an iTunes server to kind of stream, you know, music around the house to the different, uh, you know, different places that, that we can grab it and, uh, you know, play it back. And then also, I've been reading that you can, uh, Boxy can run on a hacked Apple TV, which, um, you know, I've got, without getting all into it, I have an extra computer I might be able to use, but also the, uh, the Apple TV is relatively low cost. So, uh, oh look, now I'm not backlit anymore. Oh, now I am. Anyway, enough about me. Let's get this thing running, show you what it can do. So, I'll launch it from the MacBook. All right, so here's the Boxy app. As you can see up there in the corner, it's an alpha. So, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's free, it's an alpha. So let's just bear that in mind. So I created an account. Uh, you have to create an account on the Boxy website, boxy.tv. And then, uh, you know, the main interface here, you can see it looks good. This is, this is uh, 1024 by 768 resolution. Again, out of a, you know, my Mac's uh, DVI cable, mini DVI to DVI, to the 32 inch TV set. It's a nice interface. Um, so it's got recommendations, it's got friends activity, which it just automatically gave me a friend. I don't think I, I did anything to try to make any boxy friends. Recently added, so it scanned my computer, my media library, and uh, grabbed all these from my iTunes library, so far as I can tell. Uh, I'll get that in a second. And then recently used, 
when I was playing around with this before I started uh, the video up, you know, I just played a couple of things, and those are uh, some things I've, I've looked at recently. And then we'll go to the left here, and here's your menu system. So video, music, pictures, downloads, app box, settings, etc., etc. So we'll look at settings real quick. And uh, so your media sources, your appearance, all that kind of stuff. We'll go to videos. And you can change your subtitles if you want to. We'll go back to settings. All your different settings. Great. All right. So let's get to, uh, let's go to video here. And so movie, I don't even know if it scanned my system, if it found any movies, probably not. TV shows, yeah, I don't think I have anything on this computer. So we'll go back and we'll look at the internet video, because that's really what I'm, I'm personally most interested in. And so it comes kind of pre-configured with uh, all these different sources for internet, including Hulu, including YouTube, Video Podcast, WB, Rev3, MTV, Juiced, all that stuff. And then also Netflix. And I went to the Boxy site and I paired my Boxy account with my Netflix account. And so there you go. I can get my instant queue. I can get all this new stuff. I can browse genre, everything. So anything that'll play off of Netflix, 100 Girls, don't watch it. Terrible movie. Uh, I should be able to play directly here through Boxy. So instead of spending, you know, a hundred bucks on a Roku Netflix player or, uh, you know, buying a TiVo or, or whatever, um, or even hooking up your, your computer you already have and browsing through the web-based interface, this is an interface that's made for a big screen. So we'll give it a try here. We'll go to, uh, we'll play Seinfeld Vision. We'll see if it works. You get the information, all that stuff. Really nice looking. User not logged in. Oh, I have to log in down here. Interesting. So how do I get back? All right, so I'm back, I'm logged in now. Uh, I accidentally hit the wrong button and went to this episode, but that's fine, whatever. So we'll play it. And there you go. Quality, definitely not quite as good. Turn the volume down later. Yeah, so this quality is definitely not as good as uh, the Netflix over TiVo. Now part of this might be, you know, it's hard to know with, uh, I'm on a cable modem, so there might be traffic on my branch of the cable modem, that kind of thing. But now it looks a little bit better. It looks like as it's been playing, it's maybe increased a little bit, so. All right, we'll go back. We'll stop this. And we'll go back, and we'll go to video, and we'll look at some uh, internet video here. So let's check out uh, Hulu. Now what I'm going to do now actually is I'm going to give a shot running this Boxy iPhone app. I've never used this before. So here's the Boxy iPhone app. It's got gesture mode and it's got button mode. So we'll see if I can find it. It's connecting to my Mac all over Wi-Fi. And it seems to be working. And it is. Can you see on the screen there in the background? I'm moving this around. It's like a, you know, joystick mouse pad kind of thing. And there you go. You can also go to button mode where, uh, you know, it's just kind of like a D-pad. So I'm going to use this now. And again, you don't have to use, you can use, uh, in my case with the Mac, I think you can use the Apple remote. 
that uh, you might have that came with your Mac if you have a Mac, you know, other, obviously you can use a Bluetooth mouse or something like that. But since I had the iPhone, and it's phone dog, I'm gonna use the iPhone app. And so we're on Hulu, and uh, let's go to, I don't know, man. Let's go to, uh, Saturday Night Live. that work? What do I have to do to click? Oops. Hulu feeds. Saturday Night Live. Well, I don't know. Let's go to 30 Rock then. There we go. So here's 30 Rock on Hulu, and uh, we'll just hit this one, Apollo Apollo. And so this is my old Netflix uh, episode, you know, the player that's stopping that, now it's loading up the Hulu content. Let's see how this works. And for those of you who might be wondering, this is a, uh, a MacBook Core 2 Duo uh, 2 gigahertz. Um, I have an MSI win that I'm going to try this on. I'm not expecting good results, but I'm going to give it a shot. So this is off of Hulu. The following program is brought to you with limited commercial interruption by Yes Man. Now on D and here the iPhone app. I hit now playing and it's showing me. Kind of fun. And I think I can actually control the volume. Hello. Good morning. Oh, well, not really working. No, it's my new running shoe. Oh, oh come on. Uh, Lemon, I'm going over the guest list for my 50th birthday party, and you have not RSVP'd. Oh, right, sorry. So actually, the, uh, let's see if I can pause it. Getting to buy toilet paper. No. Yeah, no, this isn't this working is so well. <laughs> I'm coming. Good. And don't wear... Oh, there you go. Stop worked. Uh, so the quality on Hulu looks a little bit better than the streaming Netflix quality. And we'll go back and, uh... Go back to the boxy menu here.